Queensland. I'm here with Dana here at the YT movie premiere. So tell, tell us, Dana, what made you write about um, the YT? Well, I, actually, I was the editor. Oh, the oh. editor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how um, how was that experience? Uh, it was a good experience. It was it was challenging. Um, there was a lot of uh, issues between the producer and the director. So like, they were both kind of like trying to pull you, me as the editor in different directions as far as like how each guy wanted the movie edited. So that was kind of challenging. But uh, overall, I mean, it was a fun experience. Did you have a lot of fun working with that? With all that? Way? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It was fun being on set and everything, and uh, you know, with all the all the funny people we had on set, like Jeroy and Jamal and Faison Love and. Tony Cox and all those guys so yeah it was really fun. So now that you're in our town in Chicago have you been to any of our places? I'm actually a Chicago native I was uh, I was born and raised here um, I moved to LA four years ago and uh, I've been out there you know just working as both a cinematographer and an editor for the last four years. Great well, thank you so much. Oh you're welcome. So I'm Vanessa and I'm here with Blake. Blake tell us a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Blake Phillips. Uh, I'm a writer and producer of a new film coming out uh, through AMC Theaters called White Tea. Uh, stars of the film are Jeroid Mixon and Jamal Mixon. Uh, supporting actors in the film are Dion Sanders, Tone Loke, Eric Roberts, Tony Cox, Tommy Tiny Lister, Dot Jones, Lamorne Morris, uh, Faison Love. I know I'm going to forget a couple here, so I hate doing all the list. YG's in it. Um, we have some musical collaborations with Ice Cube, Macy Gray. Uh, Batman scoops involved on the film so yeah just a uh, urban comedy that I've been putting together for a couple years now and uh, we're, we're getting it released in theaters so great and um, for the um, for for the um, people that came out and all the our, um, actors what made you pick them um, well uh, when I was writing the script it was real really more about uh, attainability um, you know the first couple of roles that I wrote in the script uh, were for Faison Love and Tiny Lister. I already had prior relationships with them, so I kind of had a feeling that I could land them in the film just as a personal favor. Um, and they were, they're cult classic characters, so that worked out great for me. Yeah. Uh, and they're real recognizable in the uh, urban, you know, urban genre. So when I wrote the film, I was about halfway done with it, and uh, I called up Tiny Lister and Faison Love and Tony Cox and some of these guys, and they opted to do it. So, you know, the first three or four bits in the film were by those actors, so, you know, then I started writing more, and I had Tiny Lister help me acquire Deion Sanders and a couple of the other big actors in the film. So, well, awesome. So now that you're in our town in Chicago, um, any well, first, and first time, first time, first time wow. Consistently being here for you know a couple of days. Okay. I had kind of been in and out before, but it was when I was younger, about ten. Um, I'm originally from Wichita, Kansas, so uh, I'm a Kansas City Chief fan, but I see a lot of Chicago Bears fans around. Of course, so, you're in Chicago. <laughs> So um, what do you think so far about our city? Um, I think you guys have a beautiful skyline um, and you guys have a lot of good food here. I've been getting a lot of pizza and pasta. I just went to, uh, where did I go the other day? Or I just went tonight, Tor 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 Tornello's? I don't even know what it's called, but they got Italian and it's pretty good. I wish I could recommend it, but I don't know the name. So, uh, But yeah, I like the city. Uh, we, t we toured uh, yesterday to about four or five high schools, um, one of them being Martin Luther King High School. Um, uh, there was a tragedy recently there of a girl getting shot who performed an inaugural at the uh, Obama. And um, I went with uh, Geroid and Jamal Mixon, the stars of the film, to uh, the show, or to the high school, and we had kind of like a pep assembly with the band that, sh that the girl who was shot. Um, we had a pep assembly with her bandmates. And uh, they, were, they were very receptive, uh, really good school over there. The principal, faculty, managers, staff, uh, they treated us really good. Um, we had kind of like a, uh, a moral support rally um, over there. And we visited a couple other high schools in the nearby areas. I, I can't list them all off the top. I don't, I don't remember their names, unfortunately. But uh, city was great. I, I was real shocked by um, you know, the receptiveness from all these kids. I know there's been some trouble here recently in the city, but um, I thought the youth program was outstanding. And uh, they were real sweet. With you know Jeroid and Jamal, and uh, I've had a blast since I've been here. So, um, yeah. I'm, I'm Thank you so much. Well, yeah. we do appreciate you visiting those schools, we're, um, having all that support from you guys. We do appreciate that. Thank you so much, yep, Blake. Absolutely. Hi, I'm here with Gerard and Jamal. Yeah. The mix and um, so guys, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Uh, you know what's going on. This is a Jamal Mixon. For those of you who 
don't know who I am, I'm pretty sure you can see who we are, you know, from all our movies we did. Uh, <laughs> you know, Nutty Professor, How to Be a Player, Gridiron Game, Mall Cop. My brother did. Uh, what you what you what you did, bro? Man, uh, I was in old school. Me, myself, and Irene, the new guy. Uh, we did the cookout. Um, we did Woolworth, How to Be a Player. I can I sit here all I can sit here all day, man. So, what's the best part about working together in this movie? Uh, well, we get to eat together, so that's a, <laughs> always a blessing. You know, we get to sign on what we gonna get to lunch. Nah, but um. I mean, you know, it's my brother. You know, working with your brother is one of the best things I think anybody could do in life, you know, and especially in the entertainment field that we're in, being able to act and clown around each other, it's just, it just was the best thing. That's why this movie is so funny, because, you know, we just worked with each other. You know, we've been working with each other our whole life, clowning with each other, so now it's on camera. Great. I mean, especially working with a family member, yeah. I bet that's like being at home, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what would you say? Um, would you change anything about the movie? Um, no. No, I like it just the way it is, man. I love it. I mean, it's us. This is this is what we do. This is our first starring movie, starring us. Let me put it out there. White T movie dot com. Check the trailer out. Check the trailer out. You know what I mean? And, uh, February 13th, it'll be out. February 13th, guys, so get ready. So now that you're in our hometown, Chicago, what's um, how do you like it so far? How are you liking uh, Chicago? Oh, I, I, I like it, except it's cold. I mean, real cold. I know they say it's the Windy City, but it's unbelievable cold. It's like, man, Jesus got the AC on freezing. <laughs> Was Chicago built inside of a freezer or something? They turn it on and turn it off every six months or something? Because, man, we from L.A. You know what I'm saying? We used to that 50-degree weather. You know what I'm saying? We work shorts on Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flip-flops. We out there chilling. Man, I must have. I wore some shorts out here on the airplane. Uh, I'm like, yeah, we gonna get to Chicago. They like, oh, yeah. I'm like, well, Chicago. I'm thinking about the time. I'm like, man, well, it shouldn't be that cold. I ain't worried about it. We just gonna walk from the airport to the car. Yeah, right. Man, it was so cold. It was raining when we got out here. Man, I went in my bag from the airport. Man, went throwing some sweats. Man, like, oh, this is crazy. It's cold. But our restaurants make up for it, don't? Doesn't it? Yeah, I had some, uh, what's that, what we just, some, some portobellos, I'm, am I saying it right? Portillo's. Portillo's. I'm sorry, I'm not from, I'm not Italian, I'm not from Chicago, I don't, I don't know the bears. We went to the Wiener Circle last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went to the Wiener Circle, they thought. I've been fun. there, I had a fun. blast. That was fun. We I'm fun. glad you. Oh, they wasn't, they wasn't ready for us. Because we. We 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 had a comeback for everything. We had a comeback for everything. Man. Oh man, yes, the Wiener Circle is definitely uh, the place to yes, go when you're in is. Chicago, isn't it? I it is. I went, I got cursed at, so I was like, damn. That's what it's about. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's about. I mean, you know, that's the only place I think where you can go and order food and want to fight somebody at the same time. Yeah. Well, um, thank you so much, guys, and I hope. Um, any any um, new um, upcoming movies besides the YT? Uh, well, I have a, a 3D movie coming out in March called Zambezia. You know, starring me. Um, I can't even think of everybody. Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Me, Samuel Jackson, Jeff Goldblum, Jennifer Lewis. You know, just a couple more people that I could add to my list of rosters who we work with. And you know, um, but right now we're just pushing this white T. You know. Y'all make sure y'all yeah, go yeah, check yeah, it out February in theaters, 13th. February 13th, like he just said with the old school flat top. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You guys are great, and I wish you guys the best. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights.